Hey guys, it's the 8 Bro, and I'm here today with a toy review for Transformers Fall Cybertron Shockwave. Uh, <clears throat> this figure uh, usually went on sale. I don't know. I I don't have the box anymore because I picked them up over at uh, you know Toys R Us about two years ago when the actual game for it came out. Yeah, but, uh, you're going to want to fold his arms in here and transform them. Uh, I will be uploading a video of my dirtiest joke today, but that is for later. Due to circumstances I'm working with right now. Anyway, you want to take this and just, you do not want to flip it all the way back here, because this, the gun, is going to came, come in handy very soon. So... You're also going to want to fold these down a bit. Fold his feet down. Very simple transformation. Uh, now what some people forget to do is to take this, and you'll see a little peg right here, and just swing the leg around on each side. Uh, and you're going to want to strain that up with the actual other peg that's at the top of his leg. Now, sometimes I actually don't mind leaving his legs right that like that because uh, really if you don't even look at it that way in robot form his legs just look really skinny and uh, it just looks like even though he stands perfectly well because of the feet like he's about to topple over like if you're collecting these it's all about presentation but anyway so you're going to want to turn this here and line these parts up and sometimes it's a bit frustrating to get them to stay together so yeah, you're gonna want to do that and uh, for all the G1 fans out there uh, there will be a little something at the end of this video to kind of give you a nod to the G1 gun uh, mode for shockwave <sighs> shit as you can see I kind of screwed that up there uh, but yeah uh, I've been a really big fan of the Transformers probably ever since my childhood uh, I they first interest me because I was like four and I saw the G1 cartoon and uh, my four-year-old mind just went absolutely apeshit because before the cartoon all I had was the movie so I knew Prime who I looked up to like for like 25 minutes and then he just like fucking dies. But anyway, connect the legs right. Well, you want to wait till afterward. So make sure the head's still up. Make sure not to peg any major parts connecting it in. And you'll see a little peg right here and the little opening right here. Okay. And uh, you're just going to want to press that in to the top. And you can see it coming together where you form these two parts and it just clicks in so yeah uh, those are still pegged in you're going to want to finally push this down make sure these are pushed back in because they are assholes and there you have uh, war for fall Cybertron slash war for Cybertron Shockwave. Now, what I was talking about was, if you did that, you can, it feels really shitty, but you can actually pretend it's like his original gun mode. And, if I'm not wrong, there is actually a way to link up Shockwave with, who I will show you here in a second, uh, War for Cybertron Megatron, who, I was actually... I don't know, this figure could, in my opinion, really use like a third party upgrade kit to make him look like his fall Cybertron appearance also, and being able to take that off so you can alternate. But yeah, so we'll put that to the side. Let me just transform this guy. Yeah, but anyway, uh, I saw the Michael Bay films when I was like, man, I was in like my childhood years and... The first one, 
I was impressed, actually. Uh, I liked how uh, Judd Nelson was actually in the movie for a split second at the base. And, you know, there were a few other things, too. And, honestly, I'm one of those people who I would have liked to bear if Megatron was a gun. I would have liked to bear if Prime was a flat nose. But, hey. Can't have everything. I just wish Michael Bay was an actual fan of the series. Like, I don't give a shit about incorporating newer people to like it. Because then they would just like the movie variants. And they wouldn't like the original. So, like, what's really the fucking point? Like, you can talk about Transformers all day with someone. But when you reach, uh, you know, G1 or Bay, it's going to kind of separate the conversation. Separate, yeah, the entire 